for our high flying show. So now our show will be starting in a very short while, but before we start our show, just some gentle reminders for all of us to take note of, okay? So number one, please ensure you have your mask on at all times throughout the show. Having said that, please no consumption of food and drinks as well, okay? And number two, please ensure you're seated at your unmarked seats, okay? And please try not, try not to stand up during the show as we will be having some birds that will be flying around. Okay, this is for your own safety and of course safety of our birds as well. And number three, when you come to the end of the show, do not be in a hurry to leave the amphitheatre. Just remain seated. We will be exiting the amphitheatre in a row by row basis, okay? So just remain seated. My friendly colleagues who are up there will be helping me out. Once they give you the thumbs up, then you can stand up and exit the amphitheatre. Now last but not least, please ensure to practice safe distancing at all times throughout the entire journey in the bird park, okay? Is that okay everyone? Give me a thumbs up if you are. Yeah. Good morning ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome to Port Amphitheatre for High Flyers! Thank you. Hi, my name is Sabrina and this morning we are going to take all of you on the flight and journey to the wonderful and colorful oh, world of birds. Now we hope you leave the show feeling amazed by our bird conservation champions and be inspired to take actions for our feathered friends across the world. So speaking of feathered friends, we've got one feathered friend on stage. Now ladies and gentlemen, that is Donald, our fun thumb rooster. Okay, the one you saw running earlier on, that was Daisy, our fun thumb hen. Okay, so Donald, let's make your way back home right now because we are going to invite his brother to join us in a very short while, okay? Alright, let's just give Donald some time to exit stage. Okay, it looks like he's disappeared now, ladies and gentlemen. If you are ready, keep your eyes wide open. Okay, let's welcome Chucky, another Bang Bang Rooster. Chucky! Hello, oh. Okay, look, I see the door opening. Oh, hi, good morning to you. Okay, you know what to do, right? And a touchdown. Let's give Chucky a big hand, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> so many of us might think that chickens cannot fly, but Chucky here has proven us otherwise, okay? So Chucky, oh, by the way, these birds, they're not part of the show. <laughs> We're just here to see Chucky's words, okay? All right, Chucky, final flight back to Lynn. <laughs> okay, so let's move on. Right now, we will be highlighting the natural behaviours of macaws. Now, in the wild, macaws will love to come from trees to feast on fruits and nuts. So right here on stage, we have a tree and some food attached right up there, okay? So before we welcome the birds, I need your cooperation. Please remain seated. Very good. Now, everyone keep your eyes right behind you. Here comes Gara, our highest seed macaw. Once again, please remain seated. Thank you very much. All right, one more friend joining Monday once again. Now we have Adrian, our Scarlet Macaw. So macaws like them can be found in the jungles of South America. Now let's go back to Gaia, our high sea macaw. This good bird right over here. Now did you know he is the largest species in the parrot family? So if you love to see these beautiful and colourful birds, please do head on down to the parrot paradise, okay? So now what happens after feasting these birds that often fly over to rocky surfaces just like these to lick up a clay or chalk? And this will help them in the digestion of any unripe palm foods or nuts that they have eaten. Okay, so both birds are still right over there, not to worry, this will definitely be their final stop. Oh, that's nice. Hello, Sabrina. Oh, Yoni, who's there? Hello, everyone. This is Ippi, the Scarlet Macaw. Now, Ippi here is also Jerome Bird Park's Go Green for Wildlife Ambassador. Now, Ippi here is so environmentally conscious. If he sees litter lying around, he will pick it up and throw it into the correct bin. Sure, you think a bird can recycle? Yeah. Oh, no wonder I'm seeing some recyclable trash right here. Okay, so see, I've got this metal can, a paper pattern, 
and also a plastic bottle. Okay, so to prove this to you, I also have recycling bins right here for paper, metal, and plastic. Alright, now let's see how a bird recycles. Okay, this is going to be interesting. Okay, Vivi, take it away. Let's see if you cut the right thing. It says plastic. You can put it inside. Put it inside here. Come on. Oh, um. <laughs> I think he wants to trouble right here. He's having troubles to reach the top of the pin, Yogi. Not to worry. Now, if he here has his own cute little stool. Uh. I don't know how to see what he does. Oh, okay, so if he here, in fact, is very smart. So I'm going to place the stool right here. Let's see. Uh oh. Wow, look uh. at that. <laughs> he places the stool right in front of the bin. It's passing back and passing water. Wow, look at that. It uh. is the top of the stool like he recycles. <laughs> now, on a more serious note, plastic waste have invaded our waters. To the extent it has killed over a million birds and animals every single year. Plastic found in animal habitat can harm wildlife when they consume them or they can even get entangled in them. And for this reason, plastic wastes are known as the deadliest monsters. Oh no, not the tree alarming. Now ladies and gentlemen, we believe that if we here has set a very good example for all of us. Okay, so if a bird can do it, I'm sure all of us can do too. Let's do our part. Let's all be in our littles wrap to save wildlife and fight. These serious monsters together. Do the thank you very much, Yong Yi and Ippy. Alright, so just a gentle reminder for those of you who have just joined us. Okay, please ensure you have your mask on at all times and remain seated at your unmarked seats. Okay. Alright, so moving on. Right here in the bird park, we give our birds fun activities to do, which is very similar to what they do in the wild. Now, this is called enrichment. So take a look at the trainer Wani, she's holding on to an enrichment device. Now without further ado, let's welcome our beautiful birds. Keep your eyes right back there. Can you see them? Oh. Okay, they're pretty small, but they're very brightly coloured, so I'm sure you can identify these birds. Now we've got four of them joining us this morning. Alright, now ladies and gentlemen, meet our beautiful corneas. Right now, in the world, there are over 30 different species of corneas, okay? And these birds, they can be found in South America. Okay, so speaking of different species, in fact, I'm on the language device, we've got two different species, okay? So if you see the one that has more green feathers, now that is called the Jende cornea. And the rest of them, which are more yellow in color, now those are called the Sun corneas. Now these birds, they are just like us. They love to live in large flocks. So just imagine how colorful, but they can get very loud as well, okay? Now let's talk about an enrichment device that one is holding on to. So that is called a monkey fist, which is ropes tied into knots. So inside those knots, you've actually hidden some of your favorite treats to find, okay? So you can see some of them are actually still looking for their treats. So inside those fists, you've hidden some of their favorite treats, such as nuts and seeds, for them to buy. Alright, it's time for them to head back home. Look at that. We've got one more bird. Catch Jack all the way back home. Thank you very much. Let's give it up for our us, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> for social communication. So the yellow nipped Amazon right here is famous for its ability to copy human sounds. Okay, so why don't you get a video camera ready? Might be pretty interesting, okay? Alright, let's start with something simple. Do you want to say hello? Hello! Hello, sweet hello. Okay, so I'm going to get him to introduce himself first. 
Alice. Now, can you please tell them your name? Amigo! <laughs> Did you catch that? His name is Amigo. We're going to hear this one more time, okay? What's your name? Amigo! Yeah, amigo, it is. And Amigo, how would you like to be all these nice people? How are Amigo, 